Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the networking properly on your Linux server. So, right now, you probably have a random IP address like this one is at dot one dot thirteen. This is the same one I set up last time. Uh, it's dot one dot thirteen, and it changes from time to time, so that can make it tough to access. So we're gonna make it a stable single address. So what we're gonna do is look at uh, a Windows command prompt if you're on Windows, IP config. If you're on Linux, it would be IF config, but uh, and you're going to look at up at the top where it says default gateway. Over here on the right, it says 192.168.11. So what you do is in a web browser, type that in like it's a web address, and it will require you to log in. Um, you can either ask the person who set up your network for this login or if nobody knows it then you, it might be the default you can google it for your particular routers model number mine is a custom password I set so alright um, over here you're gonna look mine is in network LAN settings for your local area network settings and you're going to look at DHCP now it's enabled and it goes from 192.168.1.100 to 192.168.1.200 that is the range that all the computers in your network will use what you want to do for your server is get it on an IP address that never changes so it's easy to access and all the network settings that you set are uh, not messed up by your IP address changing around so what you have here is you the uh, start address is 100 the end address is 200 I'll actually show you I have my old Linksys router attached to my network as well for this uh, demo. Here it says starting IP address 102.168.1.100 and then it says maximum number of DHCP users 100 so it's saying it starts at 100 and it goes 100 more so it's essentially the same thing it goes from 100 to 200 um, and on the Linksys it's on the startup page down the bottom so what you want to do is find an IP address that's outside of this range so for instance the uh, router never changes it's at 192.168.1.1 so what you might want to do is set your server to an IP address of .2 uh, I already have a few static IP addresses so I'm gonna set my server up at .22 or actually, no. Um, all right. So what you want to do is type in this command: sudo nano slash etc slash network slash interfaces. All right, and down here you see the auto eth zero and over here on the right it says DHCP replace DHCP with static and then type in these five uh, settings so address gateway netmask broadcast and network the address is just the address address that you picked for it so mine's gonna be dot twenty two 
the gateway will be the same thing as the IP address of the router. You can find that in the around the DHCP settings of your router. Now these last three settings can be different on some systems but on almost all home systems they're gonna be like this. The net mask is 255, 255, 255 zero. The broadcast is going to be the same first three sets of numbers as the IP address and the gateway dot 255 and the network is going to be the same thing as the broadcast only the last number will be dot zero instead of 255 um, most networks are set up this way so this will probably be okay control X to exit and then Y to say yes save changes and then hit enter all right and then you're back to the command line and reboot this should set up your server with an IP address that never changes it will always be at dot 22 so that'll allow you to connect to it more easily because it's not changing IP addresses and also the settings that you set in your router if you want say other people to be able to access your server from outside your home they will be able to do that alright so I'm gonna do an if config and we have a dot 22 address next thing we're gonna do is set up your server so that you have some graphics that you can use to edit the settings and files and stuff so what you're gonna do is install this set of software okay so run this and type in your password and run this command it might take a while so just install everything okay so now that you have all that installed we're going to connect through putty to the IP address that you gave your server so and then go down to x11 check off enable x11 forwarding and type in localhost then connect and you're in. Um, you'll also want to install Xming. I will include a link to this in uh, the video description. I'll link to the SourceForge page which will be the second link if you Google it. Click download and there you so install it. Take all the defaults through the setup and then launch Xming right here. Once you have that running, all the programs that you open in PuTTY that use graphics will appear on your screen. So say I use Thunder, it will come up on this screen. This is the file browser that I prefer to use on my server systems because it's simple and fast and this is actually running on the server not this computer so there you go and uh, if you do sudo synaptic this is a program that you can use for installing and managing software that is installed on your server so let's say apache 2 you can install this that would in, if uh, you hit mark and then apply that will install a web server on your server so that you can host web pages or a form site or something and Firefox is a web browser if you want to download a file straight to your server or something like that whoops demo fail anyway 
we have a server and the ability to run programs that use graphics and have them appear on our computer so we can actually do things on the server without having to do everything via commands. So that'll be the end of this video and I will see you in the next one.